attention. He's really keyed in for this one. You can see it by Crusher. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Crusher's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas on another Night at the Fights, we're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Robbie, you Mike, all one. you guys, Ryan, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. Fine combo there, right hand followed by the left hook. It worked in the body. That right hand serving well. Targeting upstairs. Oh, and he's going to the body well. Like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Good block by Crusher. Good solid right hand he lands there. Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. That's a stinging right hand by Crusher. Parries that punch intended for the head. No, he goes to the gut with a right hand. End of the round, and that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything, you know. He wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you can just outwork him a little. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his Keep own. Tight inside. Blocks away that headshot. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Russia's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body. And then that right hand. A good counter punch by Crusher. Crusher's coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counterpunch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, if we know the other way you slow him down, you hit him right on the chin and you make him say, hey, I don't want to walk in. But when you make him miss and you counter, that slows him down too. Super two-punch combo by Crusher. Good combination to the body. Keep moving, keep moving. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Don't walk it in. Yeah. 
Ten seconds to go in this third round. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Crusher. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back. Right back with the left hand. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Crusher's punch is far off the target. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Rusher's coming off another close and competitive round. But still, Teddy, I think he's slightly down on the scorecards. Yeah, the key is not what you think, Joe, even though I love what you think. But the key is what he thinks. He has to know that. It's very important for him. And a lot of times, a guy under pressure wants to know what he wants to know. He wants to maybe think in his mind that he's ahead. And it's important that somebody gives him the news. Great hook to the head that time. Took a shot, now he gives a left. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot. You know, you hear about that in, in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he's starting to get into his range before he can get off. Halfway through the ninth round. You're not More than one, and it's just what he wants. Turns over that hook upstairs. to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. Rusher showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Sending shots to the midsection. Showing you some defense there with the block. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good return fire that time. You know, sometimes a fight takes on a life of its own. This fight has grown into something bigger than both men. They both have risen each other up. Yes, that's a good point. They've made each other better. They forced each other to become something that when they got to the arena tonight, they were not sure they could be that. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good flush one two jab and a straight hand by Crusher. Fires right back at him. Keep it going. Nice, crisp one-two combination by Crusher. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. And he returns on that exchange. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criteria...